Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your, uh, late running, sort of, uh, I am your scattered host today, Anna Jr. <laughs> and today we're going to continue working on the, uh, Temple Reclamation Project. Uh, if you remember last week, we spent a little bit of time on this temple working on the redstone door down below. If you've got a pretty keen eye, you'll notice that it looks like uh, some other things have changed as well. I got tired of stuff spawning on top of the temple and dropping down on me, so I went ahead and slabbed every flat surface that was spawnable. <laughs> and I was playing with the smooth slabs because I, I didn't like the, the regular sandstone texture um, for the whole run, or at least I didn't at first. There's a part of me that's thinking I might go back to it, but there's also a part of me that thinks I might swap out the rest of this uh, regular sandstone for smooth sandstone. Leave the cut sandstone as just cut and uh, you know maybe expand it out so that way it fully frames the designs on the wall. Of course, the more I do stuff like that, the further away from the original look of the temple I get and <laughs> Uh, the further away from the main idea behind this part of the project, um, uh, I had really, I really thought that uh, I was going to try to keep it as close to a regular temple as I could. Um, but the amount of extra I had to add to fit in the redstone door really just kind of it threw that one to the window. So. I might start radically changing it, or at least changing it a little bit more than I already have. Like maybe bring uh, the front of the sides here forward just a little bit to reclaim some of that depth that was lost when uh, when I installed the door, which I'll admit is excessively fun to watch. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's not fun to get stuck in. And oh, I just realized I forgot to bump that back up there we go so now I can actually you know see the chat that's going on um, yeah that is definitely still fun to watch I, I tried to throw the orange terracotta design into the floor somehow uh, to give it a little bit of a different look and it, it's not right um, I really really needed more light but I might pull some of the lights and just slab the floor like it did my main base and just go with that. Um, I definitely put this glass uh, roof over the hole that goes down to the pit uh, because I got tired of doing something, backing up and then falling into a hole. So yeah, that's why that got added there. Uh, I may eventually uh, replace that with an elevator. I say eventually, like I've got all the time in the world and uh, you know, I am rapidly running out of December. And I've got all these things that I still want to do, but I don't want to delay season one. So I'm kind of of the mindset that whatever I can fit in is awesome. And whatever I can't fit in, I didn't fit it in. You know, that's kind of where I'm at with, uh, with a lot of that stuff because I definitely want to do a little bit more with the temple. I'd like to build up a little bit more town. We still have some lighting in that village over there. Yeah, my temple's close enough to the village, and we've built it up enough that you can actually see the village from here. You didn't used to be able to. Uh, when we first started that project, it, it was the, the the only houses that were visible were outside the, uh, the rendering distance. Um, but, uh, yeah. You can clearly see the wall rendered from all the way over here <laughs> that that's not as close as it looks either that's a little bit of a hike uh, ooh, and I do need to run over there and try to breed up a horse because I definitely want to pull a horse over here and I was just telling Arcadius who may or may not be joining us um, I was telling Arcadius that I really ought to bring a horse over and either name him Lawrence or uh, name him no name depending on if I wanted to go with the movie theme or a uh, musical theme. Um, I also had some unwelcome visitors that I had to make sure uh, they knew they were not welcome. 
and yet more still appear. I, I, I really loved the idea of the Wandering Trader when they first announced it. I even liked it the first couple times I saw him. I am now at a point where I'm wondering what command block I need to install on the server to automatically kill them when they appear and just disappear the remains. I, okay, that sounded a little rough, didn't it? Uh, no, the, it, they are a nice way to get some some resources here and there. They are a nice way to get uh, things you might not otherwise be able to get or at least not get as easily. Because they do sell some things that you'd normally have to really hunt for. But when you're in the middle of doing something, one of these guys just appears. You know, like, I'm building the redstone door, and he's over there with his two llamas like, Hey, what you working on? What you working on? Oh, I fell into your redstone. Oh, sorry. Let, let me go. Oh, what you got going over here? Oh, sorry. Oh, let, let me see what you got going over. And Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, anyway, back to the product. So, I'm thinking of replacing all the regular sandstone, smooth sandstone, just to give it a little bit of a different feel. Um, I like the cut. Or, I like the cut for accent. The regular sandstone, um, I'm just not sure I like the, te the texture. That's why I didn't, I started putting down regular sandstone slabs like those guys there. And I just, I didn't like the way it all kind of fit together and blended together. So I put the smooth sandstone down for something different. Thinking maybe uh, some bands or something a little extra, a little different. And all it really looks like is there's a sand drift on top of all the flat surfaces. Um, and that's what kind of has me thinking maybe I ought to do um, regular uh, smooth sandstone for the, whole, for the whole structure. And just throw a little bit of cut in there here and there for texture. Um, of course, to do that, that means that we got to smelt up some of this. So uh, I hope I got enough to work with here. I mean, I've only got three, six shulker boxes full of, uh, well, five full of the uh, sandstone. So let me grab that. And let's head back over to the moderate smelter of mostly good. I don't know. We never actually came up with a name for it. We were originally going to do one of the giant uh, super smelter type deals but um, we never quite got to it and it doesn't seem to have really impacted the way we're playing as much because we're not doing quite as many smelting jobs that would require that level of work uh, by the by though this has been definitely been one of my favorite builds. I think uh, for the season two version or the season one version, I'm probably going to go ahead and um, suck it up and make a um, a um, bamboo duplicator, just because, um, man. Keeping this thing fueled up is a nightmare. Now, kelp blocks are awesome, don't get me wrong, and, and we could definitely, uh, definitely stand putting together a nice little kelp farm and generating it up and even feeding it into uh, the smokers. And the nice thing about the smokers is they cook the kelp a lot faster because kelp is technically a food. I mean, you could live off it. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. Um, like a lot of things in life, you could do that. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. And let me go take a nap. There's something I could definitely use in the real world, too, is a good nap. They're wasted on kindergartners who don't appreciate the value of a solid nap. Um, come on. Top off the stakes. I'm not going to check my inventory while I'm flying because that seems dangerous. Yeah, I want to top off the stakes. I've already got another stack of rockets, so good there. <laughs> we still got the rail line going too. Um, I am half tempted to just go, since I'm probably not going to have enough time to build the villager breeder I originally wanted to, and we still have a uh, 
we'll call it an abundance. An abundance of villagers. Um, I might just start shuffling a bunch of these guys to the second floor and uh, call that done too. Do I even? Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of wheat here either. So we'll just harvest these guys. I was originally using the lava dispenser, but um, the nice thing about a looting sword is you get more steak. And who doesn't want more steak? There we go. Nice. I haven't been over in this area to um, to load up the farm, so I might have to AFK there tonight and get a little bit more of that done. Um, throw in some more lights here and there. Mostly I'm pulling up the... Uh, there's something else I was going to pick up while I was here. Memory. That's right. I was going to pick up some memory. No. <laughs> Oh, the acacia logs. I was going to pick up some acacia logs for uh, building. Because those do seem to fit the theme of a desert temple very nicely. Uh, they don't grow anywhere near the desert, which uh, kind of ruins it a little bit. And I thought I had more of those. Unless I already grabbed them. Did I already grab them? Do I have them in a random project box somewhere? Yeah, there's no telling. Uh, Alright, I'll have to look through those in a minute. Let's go check on the smelting job. Okay, with as much trouble as we're having with our server, <laughs> sometimes I really wonder how uh, some of these other guys keep theirs going as well as they do. I mean, other than just throw more RAM at the problem. Which, I'm not... It's not necessarily a, uh... No. I still got a ways to go. But... That is moving rather quick. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and repair up a couple of things. Let's do this. There we go. Now, now I'm really wondering how much XP is stored up in these other furnaces. Furni? I guess Furni could be m multiple of furnaces. A collection of furnaces. Furno? I thought that was the Pokemon you gotta collect. <laughs> no. Alright. I got stuff that I really wanna... <laughs> I got stuff that I really wanna do, but I don't wanna wander too far away from the furnaces. Because I don't want them to stop smelting. So let's go ahead and let's check on a couple of things over this way while we're here. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Not a Gen 1. Oh, oh, got it, got it. So uh, only the only the Gen 1 stuff is legit. Gotcha. Okay, I see how it is. Alright, I saw an iron golem drop in as I was walking over here, so I know this thing is still working. And we've got We got a little bit of iron. I mean, we could use a little bit more, but we definitely got a little bit. We can get by. Yeah. I still wouldn't mind a little more. Definitely got to come through and clean up some of this other stuff, too. Uh, that is one of the things that uh, I'm definitely trying to figure out what I want to do. I, I don't know if I want to make the Season Zero world available for download and what sorts of things I need to do for that. Uh, if we 
did do that, and I'm not saying we will, if we did do that, I definitely want to clean up a lot of the random shulkers just, you know, scattered hither and yon, uh, most of which are mine. Not all, not all, but most of which are mine. Um, go, go ahead, I'm waiting for it, Arcadius. I can see your grin through the monitor. No, they're not all mine. Hashtag, not all shulkers. That one's not mine. The, these guys aren't mine. These guys aren't mine. I mean, I'll take them. I could always use some extra buckets of lava. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that guy. Alright, let's see what other ones we can find lying around that are not mine. Like, these... Still gotta change those out for wooden buttons while I'm at it. Like, all these guys are not mine. They are random shulker box. Ooh, armor. Um, oh, cool. Somebody found some gems. Or bought them from the gem collector. I'm guessing found, because this looks like an end raid bit. <laughs> and some poisonous arrows. Ooh, shulker heads. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Where was it? Uh, check on the furnace. If I see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I'm out. That's uh, not... Nope. That's at least empty, so we're waiting for everything to cook down. Oof. That's going to take a little while. That's one of those things that I really should have done before we got to this point. All right. Just don't want to go too far. I do need to decide on how I'm going to build some of the other villages. In the f oh, that's right. That's one of the things I needed to get while I was there. Ah. Uh, my memory, such as it is. And while I was here, I was going to pick up some cacti. So I've had this little cactus farm running. It's not a high yield cactus farm, but I also don't need it to be. I mean, I've already got two shulkers worth and on a third. And again, it is not high yield, but I don't need it to be. Yeah, that's more spruce. That's right, because I was going to actually turn that into an automated thing where it actually flushed everything out on its own. But um, that's probably not going to happen either. I don't remember if I mentioned this on camera or if it was just in talking to Arcadius, but um, when you use a fortune axe to hit all the um, nether wart, you actually get a higher yield. The fortune actually has an effect on the nether wart harvest. So doing this manually will net me more than setting up a semi-automated farm. Now, depending on how you go about it, you can easily uh, compensate for that by overcompensating and just having ginormous fields of nether wart. But on the other hand, that uh, that keeps the footprint down a little bit. And uh, no durability lost on the Fortune Axe, which is always nice. So out of a field of 64 nether wart, I ended up with... Hang on, I thought I was going to be done by the time I hit the end of that sentence. Um, I ended up with two, and almost two and a half stacks. Which is a lot better than I would have gotten if, um, if I hadn't have done the fortune. 
So that is, that is one of those things to kind of keep in mind. There are there are some things that are oddly affected by fortune. Um, the pumpkins, to the best of my knowledge, are also affected by fortune, but that will that will hurt the durability on your axe. So you know, take that for what it is. The night falls again. Yeah, my uh, nether wart supply has dropped. So I've been trying to lean on that farm every time I get a chance to, to do a harvest. Nap time. Why don't you just hop on chat? Or hop on Discord. Get in the game. Oof. I also had to come through here to the last uh, cooking job I needed to do. And clear out a few things. Um... <laughs> I found some stone and kelp in the to-cook chest instead of the fuel, and uh, yeah, that was, we'll call it interesting. Right. Um, I'm so tempted to fly off with what I have. But I don't think the furnace will continue cooking if I'm not somewhere where the chunk is loaded. Alright, we'll find out. Fuel's cheap. Well, cheap adjacent. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you know, let me, um... Let me swap out one side of the sandstone with the smooth sandstone. And then see how that looks and go from there. Oh, that was part of it too, wasn't it? Yeah. I can do something else with the corner though. That's the other thing. I probably should have grabbed a uh, cheap trash pick. Something that barely gets through the uh, sandstone. So that way I don't have to worry about overmining through the uh, through the base of the pyramid. that too.
That's still not that bad. I might be able to make that work. I kind of like the way it has a more uh, sandy texture instead of a... Uh, stone texture? Yeah, I'll definitely come back and rough it up with a little bit of the regular... Uh, the regular stone, but I kind of... It's warming on me. stuff to do something different at the top up there but we'll get to that part too all right so anyway at the top of the thing I was kind of lamenting the the whole running out of December because we uh, that that's one of those things that I'm running out of December in a lot of different ways I'm also running out of sandstone there we go. Because we got the uh, season zero finale coming up. We don't have a whole lot of plans for exactly how we're going to go. Ta da! It's done. Pack that down a little bit. Yeah, I'll leave some of that in my inventory anyway, just in case i got to patch up a couple other holes. Um, so, Ray asked Arcadius and I definitely need to spend a little bit of time figuring out how we're going to wrap it up. It's kind of nice that uh, about this time Waddles is getting ready to wrap up his uh, survival guide world. So I've got a chance to actually uh, watch how somebody else wraps up their thing. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of giving me a couple ideas of what I definitely want to do when I'm not too worried about that sort of thing. Um, I'd kind of hoped that he would have spent a little bit of time on just how to prep the world for download. Or if anything was needed to prep the world for download. Like, I, I got a funny feeling that there's some folders I'm going to want to delete out of the uh, the world save file. There's probably some other admin type stuff that I really really should be doing, um, and I just I don't know. I don't know enough to know what I definitely do and don't need to worry about in that regard. Because I want to make sure that I don't accidentally uh, post something that's gonna you know leak an account password or something like that. Um, I definitely want to make sure that I'm not leaking any other information that a good security admin would not leave in the uh, in the download file, that kind of thing. Um, we're almost certainly going to want to go around and do a little bit of world cleanup and, you know, like I said, with the shulker boxes clear those sorts of things out and make sure that uh, all the all the random shulkers are picked up I 
definitely want to do a grand world tour. You know, maybe as the for <laughs> maybe as both the first and last recorded episode of the uh, of the season. That's going to be a problem. Those were stairs there for a reason. All right, let's see if I can square those stairs and still get the same same feel. Plus, there's material in there I want to make sure I grab. Is there anything that got pushed out this way? Nope. No. <laughs> you probably noticed that I also put in some acacia fence gates. Mostly because I got tired of uh, trying to AFK in here and worrying about something crawling down from up there. Made me feel safer. Alright, um, hmm. Wearing that off is definitely going to look weird. I don't want to lower the ceiling any, but maybe... Maybe if I took some slabs to kind of ease it out a little bit. Instead, put a slab on the ceiling there. That didn't quite seem so severe. Because that's definitely wall there. Yeah, I'll have to think about that one. Let me grab that for the moment. <laughs> and that's why we covered the hole. <laughs> about the 1800th time I nearly fell in. Hmm. So, figuring, you know, figuring out how to wrap up Season 0, get Season 1 started, we gotta get um, our brand new member properly onboarded, you know, with the server rules and that sort of thing, the things we allow, the things we don't allow. Yeah, you can do this, you can't do that, that kind of thing. We gotta get him squared away with all that. I feel like I'm forgetting something though. Oh, yeah, we gotta plan how we're gonna start off the server. Like, are we just gonna do, are we gonna wait for a stream? You know, load it up for the first time on the stream and then start staking our claims in various areas. Um, and then end up breaking the things those shulkers are hanging off of, aren't I? I hope they don't fall off. All right, we'll get there in a minute. Um, yeah, some other decisions that we'll have to make as a uh, as a group. Let's fill in that gap at the bottom too. kind of boxy but it looks a little less weird nice thing about the way I'm doing this is I don't have to change the whole temple I just have to change the part that you look at because other than that part who's gonna know I'll know I am the sort that it will bother me Unsightly mix. A sightly mix we can totally have. An unsightly mix, not so much. Yeah, 
Yeah, but anyway. So, my mind has been occupied with how how do we wrap up the season? How do we get the next one started? What needs to happen to make that work? Um, Going to have to get some information from our soon-to-be newest member. So I can make sure I get the waitlist set up correctly. Um, we are a small private waitlist server. I know we... I, don't think we mentioned it on uh, the website, which is something else that I definitely got to get uh, a little more work done on, is revamping the website. There's a lot of posts that are going to get moved over to nonjunior.com because they just don't, they don't quite fit. I'm the only one posting up to YouTube, so by posting all the YouTube links to the website, it looked a lot more, a lot less like Coffee Craft and a lot more like the Anon Junior show. And I'm not okay with that. So, <laughs> so we're going to pull that. I, what I might do is I might backdate a post for around the time that we would have started the server. And kind of gone over some of the starting info for the server. And we'll just have that as a backdated post for about the right time. And then do the similar for, uh, for when we upgraded from... 1.13 to 1.14 and do and do that kind of stuff get the server updates and changes and that sort of thing uh, post it up on the coffee craft site and any changes to like I know we changed up the data packs we were using for a bit um, like right now all the ones we're using are from vanilla tweaks whereas at the start of the season some of them were vanilla tweaks and some of them were from uh, MC Voodoo Beard what was th oh every now and again for some odd reason it really thinks my mouse is click clicking continuously and I promise you it's not uh, game doesn't know that though so I'll end up putting a random stack of blocks everywhere uh, or firing off about half a handful of rockets, uh, that kind of stuff. Definitely need to bring this down. That's the last one there. And here I am turning my physical head like I can see around the corner better. All right, and those guys there across the top of the orange terracotta. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, a lot of that's got to got to get fixed. Focus has been uh, focus has been another struggle. Some of that's because of sleep. Some of that is because of work. Uh, one of the things on my agenda is to, to <laughs> change my work location. Um, I like what I do, but it's time to move out of sabbatical mode and get back into doing doing something. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go through and rough it up a little bit with some more regular sandstone in a couple other places. Just a uh, little pockmarks here and there. Nothing nothing too bad. Kind of kind of like what I do with uh, the stone brick and then throwing in a little bit of something else there to texturize it a little bit more. But uh, having the bulk of that, the smooth sandstone, I do like indeed. All right, let me this stuff in here for the moment. Let me go check on... Let me go check on the uh, sandstone that's been cooking. See if that's still running. But when streaming, I'd be tempted to coast a little bit more to conserve rockets, but uh, oh yeah, we still gotta... <laughs> We we gotta work on Rayest's little bit of bit of backyard over here. See, okay, look, look. This 
Do you see Arcadius? This is not mine. I mean, it might become mine here shortly, but it, it's not mine. So they're not all mine. That's not my property. Those are not my boxes. I promise, officer, they're not mine. I'm just holding them for somebody. few. Hmm. Why is that front furnace cooking so much? Oh, is that because I took the time to stop it to get the XP? No, because then it would be behind, not ahead. I don't know. That That is one of the other weird things that with, uh, I, I gotta learn a little bit more about, um, getting systems like this to work to actually evenly distribute because for some reason this does not actually evenly distribute stuff most uh, some of the time some of the time it's perfect some of the time it, it ends up a little bit heavier on the front end and the back end that's part of why I extended out the track two blocks beyond each end of the, uh, the hoppers because uh, if you yeah yeah, I'm pretty sure that part was live uh, when I built it. I originally had the the block over there that bounced it back here, so it would hit this hopper and then bounce back. And because of the time that it spent on top of that hopper there, it um, it uh, ended up doubling up on the ends and being a little less down the middle. I forgot about that. Alright. I just picked it up, not what? I've only been streaming for 45 minutes. Anyway, so, yeah. And on top of all that, I've got... Two other projects that I really want to resurrect. The, the spirit is willing, the energy is somewhat lacking. Um, which is... <laughs> which has been its own unique bit. Um, but I definitely want to do something to get those two projects started. Um, one is a podcast that at this juncture, I'm thinking instead of doing live, I might just go ahead and uh, pre-record. That way I can slot it into my schedule whenever I have time. Instead of being on a schedule like this, and, and the other uh, is a long way from really talking about anything public. So uh, I, I mention it only to mention that I have a project that uh, that I'd like to resurrect and get, get back to working on. Um, some of it, too, some of the things I've been thinking about, too, have been... Uh, but trying to figure out what to do with the patron, because I, really I really do need to get that going... I need to get the patron, uh, the patron page started and finished up. Uh, Games Revisited finished their finished its uh, first season this past Thursday, and this upcoming Thursday, I'm gonna try. In other words, the day after tomorrow, I'm going to try a new format for the way I run it. Instead of running a two-ish hour live stream and then just uploading the live stream I'm actually going to record the live stream in I'm going to run the live stream for two-ish hours but I'm going to have breaks every 20-25 minutes somewhere thereabouts and I'm actually, I'm going to try to set it up so that way 
it's basically me recording six 20 25 minute episodes back to back to back to back so if you're on the live stream you get the benefit of seeing the entire uh six episode run all in one shot that that is the that is the benefit you get from watching the live stream and if you're just watching on YouTube, instead of getting the entire two hours uploaded and watching the raw video, you'll see six episodes come through one after another, after another, after another, uh, one day at a time, and rotate things through that way. But you get a little bit of the, you, you get to see the recording, uh, so you get the finished product at the end. One of the things that I have noticed is people are, people are kind of funny. <laughs> um, they will loudly complain about, or not loudly complain, well sometimes loudly complain, but mostly people will go, I, I don't have two hours to watch a live stream. But those same people that don't have two hours to watch a live stream will happily binge watch four 30 minute episodes and proudly say, hey, I got caught up on the last four episodes in one shot even though that's the same two hours they said they didn't have. And I, I suspect it has a lot to do with um, the idea that when you're sitting there looking at three hours, that looks like a lot of time. And it definitely looks like an insurmountable a lot of time. Because that's two hours, man. Whereas, if you're looking at four sets of 30 minutes or several sets of 20 minutes, you know, that, that sort of thing, um, it doesn't, doesn't feel like as much because it's only 20 minutes. Each time it's only 20 minutes. And so I want to kind of kind of capitalize on that part and, and make it a little more palatable. Even though YouTube's really good about the start and resume, uh, it is one of the one of the definite highlights of YouTube as it stands now versus the early days. Your ability to stop a video, go do something else, and pick up right where you left off. Uh, that's better now than it's ever been. It's still a daunting task. Because at the end of the day, that's still a large chunk of time you're committing to. But uh, for those people that would like the raw, I'm thinking of leaving the full recording available on the patron page for patrons of all levels. Um, and it's just kind of trying to figure out how to handle how to handle the patron tiers and the patron levels and how I want to go about doing and dealing with that sort of stuff. But I've been kind of thinking about and while I was thinking about that, I actually thought about that with uh, Coffee Craft. Uh, finding time to record episodes has been kind of hard. With my schedule as it currently sits, in no small part due to a full-time job. Um, some of that also being other issues um, to be gotten into at another time. Um, I'll have to fix some of that. Okay, anyway, uh, some of that being due to other issues, but. Um, yeah, trying to trying to trying to do a live stream, a recorded episode, and work. Um, and to be fair, other projects. 
has been an interesting endeavor to say the least. So what I'm actually thinking about is not opening the shulker from behind. Uh, what I'm actually thinking about is maybe using the live stream time to record the raw video for an episode and then or a series of episodes depending on depending on how long it takes to get something done like you know the the redstone that you normally see in somebody's 20 minute episode took me a full hour to put together so you know i i <laughs> <laughs> you on the live stream got to see the whole hour of struggling and fussing and, and the the strong desire to start cussing along with it. Um, but then that gets cut down into the 20 minute episode that gets published once a week. So if you want to see the behind the scenes, you join in on the live stream or you become a patron. Uh, and then for everybody else, you just kind of tune in for the the 20 minute video that happens once a week i don't know if that's what i'm gonna do that's one of the ideas i'm kind of trying to think of what i'm probably going to wait for though is i'm going to wait and see how the games revisited episodes end up working out because if it ends up that the live stream to edit to an episode is more work than it's worth not more work than it's worth. If it ends up just not working for whatever reason, um, th there's no sense in changing the way I do two shows and being unhappy with both of them when I could just uh, when I could just uh, try it out with one show and then find out for sure if it's a good idea. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. So those are some of the, some of the thoughts that are rattling around. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the rest of the inside and smooth stone as soon as this is done. All right, I saw Arcadius logged in, so hopefully he's gonna be joining soon. Or at least soon adjacent. Definitely got to change that orange terracotta design. I might even peel that back and do it in tears. I don't know. Although, now I got to worry about running into the redstone for that too. Because I know some of that was right up against the inside of that wall. And I also got to make sure that this project doesn't end up like the uh, the village, the village project where it starts off as a simple. Ah, this will just take what a week, two weeks, thereabouts, and then end up uh, two months later going. Yeah, we still got a little bit more to do. It's almost done. Ah, let's just knock that wall back. Let's add this other thing, and maybe we'll add that other other thing. Maybe the other thing too. Come on. 
Kutschka. Ja. I swear I thought I just heard a zombie. That's why I get kind of quiet. I'm like, where's the zombie? Because if it was a husk, he would definitely be able to survive. They're a little too uh, dried out to catch fire. So far, so good. All right. I'm tearing up a fair bit of that tune. that uh, that's a negative ghost rider I already removed the dynamite nothing destructive them's the rules flex my admin muscles. I won't fight by kosherized rules. That's what I need to do. I need to go get a villager down here and name him Mal. I haven't seen that show in a while either. That was like the perfect excuse to watch again. I mean, you don't really need an excuse to watch again, but... If you did. Grab some smooth sandstone, start helping to replace. <laughs> constructive There we go. 
have to fix that later. That's on the to-do list. But I don't have enough on the to-do list already, right? Alright. Oh no. Yeah, that's because I needed to slab the roof to stop stuff from spawning. If you put a full block there, you can't walk in. So, either you have a block that stuff can spawn on, or you have a slab. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it was the least bad of all options. Alright, I just got this side and the front to do. Oh. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Definitely gonna have to change my build style for next season too, so y'all stop calling me a dwarf. <laughs> Maybe I'll build a houseboat on the river or something. Actually, that's not a bad idea. There's a decent river nearby. You might want to step inside. I think I may have tore open the wall in there. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that the walls on the uh, Desert Temple are a little thin. It, it doesn't help that sandstone is, like, stupidly easy to break, too. I mean, you gotta look at it funny and... I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's okay. Not my favorite block in the world, but you know, it does the job. Yeah, until the creeper comes around. Or someone with TNT. Mm -hmm. uh, Can't be discriminated against the creepers like that. That's a negative on the TNT there, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Although, it is time to head inside and take a nap. That is a fun door to watch. I'm going to have to make a gif of that and send it to Mumbo on Twitter. Because every video he does one of those spiral doors. This is the most beautiful thing to look at. I can watch it for days. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you build one and it's like... Okay, that is kind of cool. I could probably watch that. Maybe not for days, but yeah, let's not get too crazy. That's not funny. Well, it wasn't shutting for a minute there. 
Well, yeah. It's supposed to give you enough time to leave. <laughs> what good's a door that shuts before you've left? <laughs> oh, oh, too many. I need a chiseled. Did I pick it up? No, I didn't pick it up. Down here. Okay. I'll have to fill that in. You laughed, medic. At what? At the door? Or at something different? Yeah, no. I, I wasn't finding that all that funny at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> After all that work. Well, I didn't know it was on a timer to close, so I kept hitting the button trying to get it to close. And like, oh. oh, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, no, because the, the button only opens. <laughs> yeah, you get smooth steps too, right? Uh, last time I put it in a stone cutter, I only got the smooth slabs as an option. They got quartz. I don't know. Yeah, I think they're making quartz. Smooth. Yeah, as far as I've been able to tell, unless it's uh, only in the one of those recipes that's only in the table and not on uh, not in the stone cutter, which would be kind of weird, and that would. Definitely be something they'd want to try to fix. Alright. Let's get in there. Oh, that one bit of chiseled. Yeah. What did you do? He smoothed out the stone. That is a neat texture, though. Missed one. Missed one? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like how your door now has a giant A for an on. Yeah, that was not intentional, but I, I that still works. Almost makes <laughs> me want to put a orange terracotta for the outer edge around the chiseled sandstone. Or something else. Actually, that's not a bad idea at all. I think I got the orange terracotta in there. Or maybe orange glass so you can see through. Uh, here? Yeah, so... Two, three. And then I've got... 
got orange glass in one of these boxes. There we go. No, oh, oh, no, oh, that's red sand. That's orange terracotta. I can use orange terracotta for now. And then I'll go back and find the glass later. glass is going to be a lot better yeah and it's gonna the glass is going to be better except the glass is going to show the redstone and the terracotta also shows um oh I, that's easily fixed though because so i could replace that block there and that one there with uh Yeah, see, I, I don't like the way the glass shows the redstone. No. No, it's definitely got to be an, an opaque block. Yeah, I think for now, I'll stick with the uh, chiseled. Actually, pull the chills out and use the smooth again. See what that looks like. Nah, that, that's too much smooth. Okay. I was just trying yeah. to break it up because you, you go from smooth to this, you know, chisel archway. Well, I guess we could try the uh, the regular sandstone. That'll help it match the stairs to make it look uh, more like the entrance. Oh, no. A repeater appeared at it. Where did the repeater get uh, broken off of? Oh, shoot. That repeater came off of somewhere. That oh. came off of that corner somewhere. I think we figured it out. This is why you don't build stuff on top of red st on top of uh, sandstone, <laughs> if you can help it. This thing it goes back in there somewhere. No, it, it goes over here. Uh, it was on top of a piece of sandstone because uh, to put it on anything else would have left the colored block exposed. Screenshot somewhere. Shots. I hear you clicking. Come on. Load the stupid screenshot. There we go. Except that's not the one I need. Yeah, and there's no delay on that. that you end up with uh, the rough texture in the wall. But it's only visible in the wall for like 10 seconds. That's not the point. I mean, you can make it a bigger door frame and then 
have the block swap out so you have a smooth door. I just need to get that top one there. All right. Yep. I can make sure no redstone was sitting on top of this one, right? Okay. Stupid sandstone. <laughs> there we go. And you can go somewhere else with that dynamite, good sir. <laughs> Those shenanigans are not welcome. <laughs> I'll just go rename some creepers and leave them at your base. Uh, no. No, that was not cool. That was not cool at all. That was, that was not good. <laughs> no. Leaving a named creeper at my base would be okay. Honestly, I think I'd get over it. But leaving a named creeper in my, you know, storage area, that's yeah. that's not cool. Just saying. Yeah, there, there was a whole lot of not cool with that whole episode. But, oh, oh ah, dang it. I covered up all but the little bit of hole, and I still fell through. <laughs> Oh, and I'm not done yet. Uh, you, you say you botch? Is that what I heard? Oh, hush. Give me a balance check. You just need to roll a two. Oh, hush. <laughs> it would help if I had the chat handy. Okay. Tear the whole temple, temple down and start over? No. No, 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 no. Tearing the whole temple down and starting over is not an option. Well, if you if you want to skip the teardown process, I, I do have that TNT. I mean, mm, that's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> I have to admit that was that was rather trollish there, uh, medic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I know the the template is uh, a lot of orange and white, but geez. Uh, no, those bot ref references were actually not aimed at you this time. Um. <laughs> I I am usually Sir Botch of the Botch Clan. <laughs> my name is Botch of the Clan of Botch, and I will have my vengeance in this world or the next. Yeah, I really gotta get that cross brace down, but I, man, I wanna do a little something different with that design. I don't like it. I do not like it at all, Sam I am. <laughs> yeah, you took over as chieftain of the botch clan. Enjoy the rest. Oh no, no, my turn's probably coming back around. I was laughing too hard at somebody else finally enjoying that uh, position. <laughs> It also helps that the checks I was being asked for, you know, I already had like a 19 in, so I just needed to roll a 2 or something. As long as it wasn't a 1, it still would look okay. Hey, you know, all three of you rolling a survival check there. And... Yep, that's the right direction. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to get into that one either. Uh, for anybody else on the stream, we... <laughs> to include Mr. Uh, Medic in the chat, are part of a D&D &D group that we play on the regular. Uh, I am the one who has the reverse loaded dice, apparently. Because loaded dice help you out. Uh, my dice do not. <laughs> His dice are like a, a mathematician's, like... 
master or paper on probability just yeah, waiting I, to happen. I, I, I'm somebody's statistics paper just waiting to happen. I didn't think you could, but it was worth a shot. All right. Statistically speaking, there's no way you should be able to roll that badly, that consistently. That often? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Have we ever weight tested your dice just to make sure they're not actually weighted against you? <laughs> no, but my precision dice are looking a little rough. Um, I... I I think when the mic arm fell over, it fell on them and scratched them up a little bit because a couple areas look kind of deformed. Ooh. Yeah. Well, they are plastic, I mean. Yeah, I mean, at the end, I don't like that either. I'm going to do something different in that corner, though. I, I don't like uh, a little too blocky. Unless I do it like that, and then maybe put a lantern or something on top. That could work. I might have to play with that, too. Yeah, no. We never actually wait, wait tested any of my dice. I didn't want to cry. There, there have been games that I really wondered if I ought not, not ask Arcadius for, you know, some sort of handicap. Like, can you can you just spot me five points every time I roll? I It won't change the game balance. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, that's looking a little better. That's looking a little better. Need to put a dock off of here. Where the road starts heading out into the water. There's going to be a dock there. Uh, no. No, there, there, no gold bling. No. This is not the Temple of Bling. <laughs> I was actually going to put a beacon on it, too. <laughs> no. Although what I probably ought to do is I, I probably ought to bury down in the pit where the treasure usually is one gold nugget. Like, put it on an armor stand. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I might do that. Distracted. I need to figure out how I'm going to build up this dock and how big I want the dock. that it grabs the middle block last. I am tempted to actually leave that middle block empty. There we go. Hmm. I mean, I guess as long as I light it up, it'll be all right, right? Gotta figure out what I want to make the pillars out of. 
I'm tempted to make them out of the acacia logs, but that's a little more pricey than I want to deal with. Sandstone. I want to run the pillars. What's the problem with the pillars is they don't attach to slabs. I would have had to have used the actual wood planks for that. Although if I'm going to do top slabs anyway, and if I'm going to do top slabs anyway, then uh. Do the regular. Well, never mind. Labs are cheaper than planks. I'm missing a slot. Okay, there we go. Attaches. Okay, that could work out. Although now we're at the dock looking a little funny. Eh, that might still work. Alright, I need some, I need a bunch of walls. Hey, how goes that uh, big dig project you're working on? Besides Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, enough coffee to motivate me to go work on it here lately. <laughs> no, I hear that. I definitely hear that. It also doesn't help that uh, WoW went into stage 2 on Patch Tuesday, and uh, we now have Battlegrounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah well, you, know. <laughs> uh, you know, you gotta get that prestige, right? That's, that's right. That's right. Small percentage of the population on each server can have the title of... Uh, Grand Marshal, so uh, <clears throat> gotta gotta work for it. <laughs> so who's gonna end up Grand Marshal Throne? Uh, that would be a Grand Admiral. Um, <laughs> and no, right now the only one I'm doing PvP with so far is my priest, and it's uh, Pelion, which technically is is kind of funny since Pelion was uh, Grand Admiral Throne's captain of his flagship, so. Star Wars trivia for you there, guys. Anyway. I'm not entirely sure why I made Pelion a, a, a priest either. I, mean, I guess a, a priest would work fine for a, a starship captain. I don't know. Well, I mean, they do end up praying a lot, so. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> 
short again uh, always try to get some awning going over there do I have two walls cut? no I don't um, no matter what you're always going to be two walls a half slab or a solid block short when you go to finish a build <laughs> without fail that's how it always is put some wool across the top of that but I don't see too many sheep in the desert so maybe I'll just go with uh, let me go with some sandstone slabs So I can go to my lighting box. I have a lantern left. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's fix that. Grab my precious box. Dip into our precious iron supply. Precious? coming out of our ears over here. Uh, I don't know. We might not have enough. Um. <laughs> let me just go ahead and walk <laughs> on over here and screenshot this and send it to <laughs> four, five, six, seven full double chests We're working on our eighth. Um, where did all those lanterns that I crafted go? Did you throw them in the floor? No. Did you look oh. like you got a full inventory? No, they're there. I can see the lanterns under the number of the stack. There's something wrong with that. Oh, for the love of Pete. Half the reason I went here was for more slabs. <laughs> oh, hush. getting this awning in. There we go. Got a couple more lanterns up because you can never have too much light. Should a little light on the situation. 
sea lantern to a lamp and put a uh, daylight sensor on it they can more easily tell day and night Killing pufferfish, or was that some? What was that? No. Oh. Put that in item frame. First fish caught off your pier. <laughs> uh, spear fishing. <laughs> Which executive were you targeting? Oh, wrong spear fishing. I thought that was with a shotgun. Oh, that would be president hunting. Never mind. Quail hunting, I'm sorry. Not quail. Not, not present. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that what was isn't that what happened? They were like bird hunting or something? Uh yeah. That was one of the vice presidents though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still need to get a fence around this place and I need to put in Originally, I was going to put in a bunch of buildings down this row, but it seems kind of odd, so I might just put, like, a, um, knock this hill back just a little bit further, put a giant residence over here, and then some markets down the road. Yeah, Reyest is out of town. I was kind of hoping she would hop on, uh, Discord anyway and chat, but, uh, I, I also definitely understand why she might not. So I got my cactus, I got my sandstone. Hmm. Uh, she would hop on and talk if she knew I had a stack of TNT over at her base. <laughs> eh, she's not watching either. Because that would have at yeah. least gotten a response. <laughs> <laughs> no, not watching now. She'll probably catch it later. Which means you'll catch it later, too. <laughs> she doesn't have any redstone around here, because I don't want to accidentally light it when I'm putting it down. Yeah, you might want to be careful of that. Uh, That's why I'm looking. I'm making sure she doesn't have any active redstone around here. It doesn't look like it. Let's see. When you say around here, are you at her base or over at the village? Well, the base. The base. Her demonic fortress up in the sky. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know you'll be interested in this. Um, Studio Ghibli is working on the digital rights. So you can now buy, or you will soon be able to buy the digital versions of all the titles. Is that like backlogged with everything I already have, or is it? Um, like no, product? so you can actually get it on uh, Google Play, Amazon Video on Demand, that kind of thing, and then you don't need a disc to watch it. You can watch it on your phone or wherever. 
Yeah, well, what I mean is, like, if I have the disc, can I prove that I have the disc and get it anyway, or do I have to rebuy um, it? To the best of my knowledge, no. Unless they end up partnering with uh, Voodoo. Because Voodoo does have a program where if you scan the barcode for the physical disc, you'll get the digital edition at a steep discount. Hmm. Or at least that's the way it's supposed to work. I haven't actually tried it. And that's one of those things that I, I've deeply considered um, going through some movies that I know I wouldn't mind having the digital edition of and trying out that process. See if it actually works as, as it's supposed to. She's really doing that with solid prismarine blocks, isn't she? Mm -hmm. that, 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 those aren't cost-reducing slabs. Those are big, honking, full blocks, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So about that ink farm. Uh, <laughs> we haven't been there in a while. I think one of us might be spending a night there. <laughs> Yeah, since you filled in a lot of the sand, that it does seem to be working a little bit better. Got to get that last little strip at least. Um, and okay. Well, I I flew by and a drown just popped out of the out of the squid farm. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, I'm noticing that. I still never get around to labeling the chests either. I still think like it's hilarious when you get pillagers in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, I did. I did find that I got better rates if I AFK'd in the building with all the resources instead of the AFK spot in the sky. I think that might be just a little bit too far away from uh, from the farm for this style farm to work. Because it seems like uh, the squids still need to be able to move, which means they have to be in a certain radius a little bit closer to you. That is a lot of bubbles. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of bubbles. And I really do need to finish uh, rebuilding the water on the top so it flows a little bit better. Yeah, no, you're you don't have all particles on. <laughs> I see I'm even half the bowls I'm seeing <laughs> when I look at that thing. Oh, I fell in. I didn't make the jump. How I don't know, but I'll just look up from over here. I gotta fix my fix my gear. Oh, and apparently Medic thinks that he's uh, gonna have to search for a new friend since you're clearly suicidal. Yeah, talking about TNT and rest space. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Said your gear was messed up. Gear. Huh? Which gear? Oh, uh, all of it because I landed. Oh, are you serious? How many of those have you been accumulating? Um, a lot because it's easier just to do this than to go repair my pickaxes every time I get halfway through the dig. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. So I've got like six more stacks of those. <laughs> Sure, our traders will be happy to know. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. I still have a whole shulker of emeralds, so I'm not really worried about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was one of the early mines that we started near the beginning of the season, too. Mm hmm. Because it actually goes down to the, uh, the mine shaft. Well, some of the mine shafts. No. Oh, more more boxes of stuff. Uh, your stuff, good sir. Uh, no, this is Rayest Mine. Oh, hello, friends. 
it's also very clearly not uh not as well lit as we would have originally liked yeah it's still kind of dangerous <laughs> there's a lot of friends floating around some parts have been picked pretty clean though oh yeah Th this is definitely some of the early work going too far you'll end up in your own base again um that was always the thought uh, i'd have to get on a cam account to be sure but i don't think they actually connect i i think there there's two two shafts that like would if you knocked out the right half dozen blocks like one ends right above the other that kind of deal so the seed has two mine shafts right next to each other Oh, not two mine shafts. It has tons of mine shafts all over the place next to each other. Like there is, there is a rat's nest of mine shafts all over the space, but around my base and between this base and my base. I'm lost. I just want to go out. No, oh, no. There we go. Hello, friend. Yeah. With the light on the server going down, that black concrete at Coffee Petra actually does make it look like it's a dark like entryway yeah. instead of a wall. Yeah, that is, that is a really nice build. I don't think I'm going to get to building the, uh, the villager thing inside it, but I do before the season's up oh, without running into the thing. Um, I do want to at least do a little bit more terraforming around the edge to make it look like it's uh, a little more roughly excavated out of the area instead of clear cut. So instead of a smooth face top to bottom, have a little bit more of an overhang near the top and make it look like it was clearly dug into to find that. I mean, the sign says they found it during... TNT exploration, so I don't know. Yeah, I just want to rough it up a little bit. Make it look a little more natural. Get that transition a little bit better, too. Trying to be mindful. I haven't finished lighting out this area. I got a little bit more done, though, so it's not, uh. It's merely somewhat dangerous instead of completely suicidal. Your, your boxes are here. Yeah, I know. Uh, the, these boxes are mine. There are many like them, but these boxes are mine. Hey, 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 look. Watch this, watch this. This this was a... This was an Arcadius project. No boxes anywhere in sight. This wall wasn't a non-junior project. Three boxes right here. Because it's not finished. <laughs> My finished projects don't have boxes around them. It's only the unfinished ones. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cass, do we still need the uh, track coming from your place? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, earlier... That's been an eyesore for weeks now. Yeah, no, no, no. Earlier in the stream before you joined, I was thinking since I wasn't going to get the villager breeder going, I was going to go ahead and at least shuffle enough villagers over to finish the uh, second floor of the trading hall. And then we can start playing with their jobs and whatnot. Okay. All right. So, matter of fact, that let, let me uh, that is let me jump almost eight o'clock now. Yeah, it's almost eight o'clock now. Um, creepers and things are crawling up the the side of the hill that I haven't lit. I like the fact that uh, tridents don't require ammunition, but on the other hand, these are not the best. Uh, ranged attack out there it is when it's raining because everything's considered a water mob because they're wet yeah and the impaling five does the you know Massive plus five damage. damage yeah but if it's not raining yeah you're right 
Unless you carry a bucket of water with you everywhere. You know. <laughs> look, look, your water mob now. Die. No. Look, Ma, I'm a water mob now. All right, let me go find somewhere safe to stand and then uh, kind of jot down some notes because I, I need to... I, nah, I'll do that off camera. I'll run around looking at the different projects that need finishing up and touching up so I can figure out next week what's going to be the, the easiest ones to like really quickly finish off. Like we, we should be able to knock out the villager trading hall and finish that up real quick. Uh, I know I got to go in with the carpet and do the double carpet trick. So that way they don't pick up the wrong, <laughs> the wrong profession block. Cause we were having problems with them grabbing the profession block from somebody across the hall and that sort of thing. And at a certain level, we technically still might. Does the green llama have a creeper head on him? Yeah. You, you put a different color carpet on the llama and it gives them a different, uh, different outfit. So I forget if that's the green or the light green. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's a regular green carpet. Yeah, because I'm guessing this is the light, the lime here. Well, sit on them and go to your inventory. Right click. Let's not do that with that in my hand. That seems like a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a lime. And then this guy's got the light gray. The trader llamas come with their own. Yeah, I you can add one. a different yeah. one on top of that, but I kind of left them with their own because, well, it is definitely unique. I think uh, yeah, that's green one's got is a yellow. Though. Yeah, that one's got a yellow. Yeah, the the green's got to be my favorite so far. <laughs> but yeah, Creeper each, face. each color each color has a very different uh, very different thing going. And you can do that to the trader llama? Does it, like, add to the trader llama? Or does it replace um, the trader llama? I don't know. Oh, this guy's the black carpet that I'm sitting on right now. Oh, he looks purple. Yeah. And this is or the wait, no. Oh, okay. Go get beast carpet now and find out. <laughs> You're about to grab one of each, aren't you? No, I just want to see if it replaces or just goes over the top of. Oh, 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 oh for the trader. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it replaces. That that seems uh, that seems about par for the course. Let me sleep before something bad happens. I mean, we could hurry up and put green carpets on all of Rayest's uh, guys there. Yeah, so he looks just like the regular ones. Ah, oh well. This is worth an idea. Yeah. Littering. Come on now. Don't leave carpet laying around. <laughs> Don't go into your base then for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Why are there bones laying around? That's all the stuff from last night before the mobs got killed. I, you know. Dumped them in my base? Come on, man. I just dropped them while I was walking. <laughs> They'll despawn in five minutes. They're, they're biodegradable. Uh, no. No. That's, the, that's the, no. Come on, It's all man. biodegradable. It, it, it recycles itself in five minutes. That's not recycling. <laughs> Sure it is. No, no. <laughs> uh, we still got a fair amount done. I mean, that rail took that rail took a while. That station was that took a fair amount to get put together. I do like the aquarium. We've got to do another massive aquarium on uh, season two, er, season one. Mm -hmm. Just uh, not so close to the swamp. Yeah, that that hurt. Yeah, I mean, building this in the swamp basically 
made the water kind of icky looking. Like, maybe we forgot to put the filtration system in. Only in that corner. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Public transit and all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, watch which corner you hang out on. <laughs> I like the uh, the lighthouse this season. I think that was my favorite build so far this season. Yeah, especially the color. No, oh, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still work? I haven't seen it actually go off in a while. Yeah, because it only goes off at night. And we've been sleeping through the night. But yeah, it does still it does still go off. That that was an interesting bit of redstone. It reminded me a little bit about how certain circuits work. So I think I could probably do more of that sort of thing where you gotta have a circuit you know, redstone signal traveling around around a circuit for one reason or another. And there's the iron farm we've built like twice this season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, mechanics change. The trading hall was nice. I, I do like the way... Um, I, I think next time, though, change the layout a little bit. Um, since season one, we definitely agreed we're going to play on hard mode. We can definitely do a design that works in a... Um, a zombie so we can, you know, zombify them, cure them, and get better trades. Uh, the other nice thing is we won't have to worry about a mix of the old and new villagers. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I definitely think I'm going to find a different place to house the workstation. Maybe where the lamp is I'll put the workstation. Um, just so that way the XP from trades has somewhere to flow out and it doesn't collect in the back of the, the area. You know, yeah, the, I end the up clerics, walking back here to get it. Yeah, with the, with the clerics, it seems to move around the um, brewing station just fine. But you know, like the these guys over here, you know, Farmer Brown and all them, uh, it doesn't get around the composter, and I don't want to put the composter directly under them. Um, although I guess we could do that and put a carpet on top. Because some of the other villager trading areas I've seen people put uh, put a carpet on top of the workstation and they still seem to be able to interact with it and use it. Uh, we definitely need thicker floors between each of them so that way I can do the double carpet to keep them from finding the wrong station. Mm. Um, and we also need to not have a, a basement next time. No, we do need a basement. Um, because remember, the basement was going to be the third floor. We were going to have a bunch no. more librarians down there. That, that was a pointed statement. I, I came over here on a live stream the other day, and I was going to uh, <clears throat> musically booby trap this uh, button. And oh. uh, there, there's nowhere for me to put the note blocks down there. <laughs> well, you just so. put them off a little ways. Or get creative. And then you can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, you get, you get a little bit of room. Because everybody uses that to go in there. So like, <laughs> I'd be blocking the way into the room. Well, I mean, originally, th this area only went to here. Yeah, and no, I had it all filled this for storage. <laughs> yeah, th yeah, this got filled for storage, and we... Yeah, actually, that's probably what we ought to do. Um, one of the things we ought to do next week is get a bunch of these guys up into the second floor. I know I was originally going to build a third floor down here, but with the time remaining on the season, that's not going to happen. So we'll just start moving these guys up, and whichever ones we're going to keep, keep, and whichever ones we're going to let go, let go. Because um, some of them, some of them, I'm pretty sure we still want to hang on to. Uh, there's one or two. Yeah, one of exactly. them has mending, but otherwise. Yeah. But then again, I mean, I don't think we need to hold on to any of them. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need a mending book in the next, so I don't know, <laughs> week and a half that we have left. <laughs> uh, we got more than a week and a half. 
But that's the other thing we definitely got to get the hard, hard and fast. Like exactly when are we killing season zero and when are we r- starting season one? Um, I mean, beyond the nebulous January, because that doesn't necessarily mean January first. So we got to get a handle on that. Well, here's a crazy idea. I don't know what everyone's plans are for. You know, first of the year, but uh, maybe make as a, a new, a year, new stream. year. I was about to say, make a new year yeah. stream of us going live on the server. That's an option. It, it depends on who's got to work and who's got the time off, too. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that was my point, was to figure out what the uh, what schedules were. Because, you know, multiple yeah. adults on a server, you're going to have scheduling conflicts every once in a while. Yeah. Ain't that the truth. Uh, I wish I could have that in real life. Isn't it glorious? What? Biggest coffee oh, pot ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it the the shading's wrong. The coffee needs to be black. I mean, I don't mean the coffee needs to be black. I mean, it needs to be like black hole black. Like the light struggles to escape the pole of your coffee cup. There there needs to be a a faint blue radiation around the edge as the light bends in towards the blackened coffee. Slap you with my poor chap. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fish and slap you with that. <laughs> all right. With with all that, let me grab a uh, safe place to stand. Inquiring minds yeah. want to know. <laughs> yeah, and I I think uh, the next time too. The headhunter and the gem sell gem vendor are going to be two different people because the while it is technically possible to create somebody who has a larger inventory, it is beyond my skill currently, and so to add another head for another player is uh yeah uh, I'll okay. have to have that be two different people. Or you can just, you know, turn PvP back on and I can go whack him with a sword until I get the head I want. No. That's a negative oh. Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let me put that on mute for a second. And this is where I switch over to the credits and say thank you very much for joining along. Hope you've enjoyed so far. Uh, rambled on a little bit about some potential changes in the future, so we'll see over the next couple of weeks how how those things might change. Are you seriously going to keep throwing stuff at me? Okay. Um, good, good thing that's not on screen. All right. Um, between now and the end of the month, I should have a better handle on whether or not I'm going to get um, support.anonjunior.com up to par and, and pay for the uh, Streamlabs page. Uh, I think I might. Not just because of the the option for donations, but also because they've got a managed merch store, and that takes a whole lot of extra stuff out of out of um, out of my hands. And they also have a huge music library. So instead of the same dozen or so songs playing every live stream, I can actually get a wider variety of music and. And that would be really nice. Uh, so keep an ear out for that over the next couple of days. Uh, new format to Games Revisited. And if it works as well as I hope, I might end up using some of that or uh, an adaptation of that for Coffee Craft. So do tune in Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern for Games Revisited. And Coffee Craft will return next Tuesday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And uh, we'll have a little bit more details on the wind down and how we're going to finish up the season. So with all that said and done, this is where I uh, try to cite out my, uh, my little stream deck there. Say thank you, have fun, and I'll see you next time.